Okay, well, it's Jay here, and I'm going to uh, do a quick little thing to kind of follow up on the on the charcoal bit for uh, means that I use here to kind of, I guess we'll call close the loop uh, and utilize some of the biomass that uh, is so productive here on the island. Um, this is Annabelle, and she's lovely. She's a She's a heavy biomass producer, so I didn't think that I could possibly make a video without having her be some part of it. Um, anyway, I think the next thing we'll talk about here is rocket stove. Okay, well here's my rocket stove. Um, everybody's wanted to see these. These are these are pretty simple and useful. Um, making some sweet potatoes there for breakfast. Anyway, um, you know one of the most important things we need for transition technologies here is to be able to move from all you know really convenient first world technologies to stuff that can operate in a more primitive environment or certainly more directly utilize some of the resources that we have like all this woody waste um, you've seen the videos about making the charcoal uh, charcoal is ideally made um, in a remote site like this out of pretty good size big chunks of lumber but um, you end up with a lot of small stuff you know maybe an inch and a half or two inches or smaller in diameter that isn't really too great for making charcoal, but you'll find that that's just perfect fuel for a, for a rocket stove. Um, in fact, they were really designed to burn small chunks of wood rather than big chunks of wood. Um, yeah, this is a two by two um, cooktop. It's made out of quarter inch steel plate. Um, yeah, it's running on it's running on I think guava rohia at the moment. Um, really, not much to it. Uh, let's see if I can get you a little better pictures of how it actually functions. Okay, well here's the firebox of the rocket stove. Um, I'll show you what one of these, um, what the firebox looks like outside of the casing here in a little bit. But um, you'll see what the basic concept is. The, the wood goes in there end on, small round pieces, and it's elevated on a grate. Um, and the reason it burns so clean is that the wood actually burns like a candle. You're not heating a whole piece of wood. Only the tips of the wood is burning and that's why you get so much smoke uh, there's or so little smoke I'm sorry is uh, these things don't require a chimney um, people in the third world that use them use them inside I mine's out on an enclosed porch but it's certainly you know you might have a little smoke odor but no smoke that you'd really notice I've got gas installed in it too it's a steel cap with a 1 16th inch drill bit in it uh, that's more or less all it takes that's purely a convenience it sure helps getting things lit you know uh, again, transition technology, it works turnkey or uh, it works in extreme search circumstances. Not a bad place to go, but yeah, small woody waste, we consume it. Okay, so this is a, uh, this is the firebox assembly. This is what's inside there. You'll see that's just a six inch well casing welded with a, a 90 degree in it, 245 degree cuts and one bead. Um, yeah, again, Super, super, super simple solution. You'll never burn that out. Um, works like magic. Well, anyway, that's about all there is to rocket stoves. Anyway, I'm just, uh, you know, to kind of fill this out. You know, you can come out here and you can look at a piece of the jungle like this and you can say, look at all that. There's invasive trees or weed species or look at that, all that dead stuff and whatever. It's worthless. Well, you know, it's only worthless to somebody that's ignorant. You know, um, there's a tremendous amount of bounty and opportunity out here. Uh, it takes a certain amount of labor to extract it, um, but there are there are exist and there are techniques uh, where a person can come out here and really make a good show of it. Uh, I would encourage anybody to give it a shot. Uh, be responsible about it, of course. You know we don't want to come in here and just tear things up willy nilly. But um, yeah, you know. I, while this is one solution, I'm sure that there's others in other parts of the world, and I'd love to hear about them. We can all have something to learn, but you know what? There is no such thing as waste. Um, we need to learn to live a lot more efficiently.